Good morning. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, let us bring to our mind our sins, and ask God mercy and forgiveness, so that we may become worthy to offer this sacrifice. Lord, have mercy. Christ of mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God of mercy on us forgive us our sins and lead us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Unworthy servants that we are, O Lord, grieved by the guilt of our deeds, we pray that you may gladden us by the saving advent of your only begotten Son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah, raised God cry, you burn the one who did not break forth in jubilee song, you who were not in labor. For more numerous are the children of the deserted wife than the children of her who has a husband, says the Lord. Be large the space for your tenth. Enlarge the space for your tenth clause. Unsparingly out your tenth clause. Unsparingly. Lengthen your ropes and make form your stakes. For you shall spread a board to the right and to the left. Your, your descendants shall the poles of the nations, shall the people of the desolate cities. Fear not, you shall not be put to shame. You need not to blush. For you shall not be disgraced, the shame of your youth. You shall forget the reproach of your woodenhood no longer. Remember, for he who has became your husband is your maker. His name is the Lord of hosts. Your Redeemer is the Holy One of Israel, call of all God of all earth. The Lord calls you back like a wife forsaken, grieved in Spirit, a wife Mary in your youth, then cast off, says your God. For a brief moment I abandoned you, but with great tenderness I take you back in an outburst of wrath. For a moment I hid my face from you, but with enduring love I take pity on you, says the Lord, your Redeemer. This is for me like the days of Noah, when I swore that the waters of Noah should never again delude the earth, so I have sworn to not be angry with you, your rebuke, rebuke you, though the mountains leave their place, and my love shall never leave you, nor my covenant of peace be shaken, says the Lord who has mercy on you, the world of the Lord. Response is, I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. I will extol you, O Lord, for you drew me clear and did not let my enemies rejoice over me. O Lord, you brought me up from the another world. You preserved me from among the those going down into the pit. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Sing praise to the Lord, you his faithful ones. 
and give thanks to his holy name for his anger lasts but a moment, a lifetime. His good will at nightfall weeping enters in, but with the dawn rejoice. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Hear, O Lord, and have pity on me. O Lord, be my helper. You change my mornings into dancing. O Lord, my God, forever will I give you thanks. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Prepare the way of the Lord, make straight his path. All flesh shall see the salvation of God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. When the messengers of John the Baptist had left, Jesus began to speak to the crowds about John. What did you go out to the desert to see? A reed swayed by the wind? Then what did you go out to see? Someone dressed in fine garments? Those who dress luxuriously and live sumptuously are found in royal places. Then what did you go out to see? A prophet? Yes, I tell you, and more than a prophet. This is the one about whom scripture says, Behold, I am sending my messenger ahead of you. He will prepare your way before you. I tell you, among those born of women, no one is greater than John. Yet the least in the kingdom of God is greater than he. All the people who listen, including the tax collectors who were baptized with the baptism of John, acknowledge the righteousness of God. But the Pharisees and scholars of the law, who were not baptized by him, rejected the plan of God for themselves. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, for the last two weeks, we have been talking about John the Baptist and Jesus, right? So we are in the same area today as well. Well, we all know that John the Baptist was a prophet, right? He was a prophet. And there's something more about that. He was the last prophet. He was the last prophet. Jesus says, among those born of women, he is the greatest because of his mission. Because of his mission. Because we know Adam and Eve were great, but they were not born. They were created. He is the greatest because of his mission as a prophet. He is greater than, according to Jesus, than any other prophet or patriarchs or anybody. Because all those prophets their work was actually prepare people for the Messiah all the time. Prepare people for the Lord, announce the good news to the people, and prepare them eventually for the coming of the Messiah. At last he came and he was able to show the people the Messiah. And that's why he is considered the greatest, greatest of all that generation or generations, people up to that time. But now Jesus is going to tell us something about us. He says, he says, those in the kingdom of God are greater than John the Baptist. So how many of uh, us are in the kingdom of God already? 
Wow, we have only few here. How many of us are already, we have some here too, that's wonderful. How many of us are already in the kingdom of God? Oh, now more, yeah, that's wonderful, okay. So that's basically everybody, right? Yeah, good, 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 thank you, thank you, wonderful. So he says, so he says, all of us are greater than John the Baptist. Do you believe that? He says, no, I'm not saying it. I'm not saying this. I'm not the, yeah. He says, all of us are greater than John the Baptist. Do you believe that? And if you believe, why? What makes us greater than John the Baptist? Anything special? Okay. Every human being is called Imago Dei or image of God. Okay. Everyone is an image of God, created by God in His image and likeness. And that's everyone, everyone, everyone. We have our own conscience, we have our soul, we have our freedom and reasoning and will, right? All of them together says image of God. Everyone, everyone, even John the Baptist. John the Baptist. And in that, images of God, he is the greatest. But he made some changes. Jesus made some changes, added something to the image of God. If he, if we want it. You know what that is? Jesus, in him, through him, something is added up on the image of God. Any idea? Am I confusing you? Making you sleepy? No? No? Okay, that's good. So far good. The power? Yeah, the power, 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 yes. But something, yeah. His grace, yes, yes. So, he makes us, yeah, it's his grace, yeah. But we call it something, a special word is there for that. Images, images, images to something more than image of God. In him, I said, in Jesus, through Jesus. And only he can do that. From images of God to something else. Huh, interesting. From images of God, in Jesus, through Jesus, we are made something else, something more than image. Any idea? Children of God. Images to children. Because I said, in Jesus, through Jesus, he is the only son of God, right? In baptism, because of his life, because of his death, because of his resurrection, all the graces from him comes to us, and we enter into the waters of baptism, and we come out as a new creation. We are made God's children. And that's why, he says, those in the kingdom means those are baptized. Those entered into this new life. Those who are recreated as God's children are greater than John the Baptist. Make sense? Yes. That's why Jesus calls, tells us that we are greater than John the Baptist. But there is a problem. There is a problem. We are made his brothers and sisters. But how many of you know that? How many of you really realize that you are a brother or a sister of Jesus? Wonderful, thank you. Wonderful. 
How many of you live? How many of you live? Thank you. How many of you live as a brother or sister of Jesus? Or at least how many of you try? Yeah. I have to say, yeah. how many of you at least try? It's not easy. And that's the key thing. We are his brothers and sisters, and therefore we are the perfected images and likeness of God in this world, but we need to live as brothers and sisters of Jesus. We thank Almighty God for our life and blessings and we ask him to give us the grace so that we may continue to see Jesus in others. That God's grace may continue to transform the church into the fruitful bride of Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that all people may be prepared to meet Christ when he comes again through the power of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our okay. prayer. That God may continue to strengthen marriage covenants and the ability of married couples to show one another the love of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Holy Spirit may continue to help us live out the prophetic call we received at our baptism. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who have died may know joy and fullness of life in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the repose of the soul of Mary Cadmus, for whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Let's offer our own prayers. We fly to thy protection. O Holy Mother of God, do not despise our petitions in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Pray, brothers and sisters, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, we pray, O Lord, these offerings we make 
gathered from among the, your gifts to us and may what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below gain for us the price of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord Holy Father Almighty and Eternal God through Christ our Lord for all the oracles of the prophets foretold him the virgin mother longed for him with love beyond all telling John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came it is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise and so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy alone, the fountiful holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Proclaim your earth, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread toward the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope shown our bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. How mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
at the Savior's command and for my divine teaching we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, Lord Jesus Christ, who said the apostles, peace, I leave you my peace, I give you look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously Grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
let us pray may these mysteries o lord in which we have participated profit us we pray for even now as we walk amid passing things you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures through Christ our lord Amen. the lord be with you Amen. may almighty god bless you all the father son and the holy spirit Amen. the mass is ended go in peace thanks be to god saint michael the archangel Amen. defend us in battle be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil may god rebuke him we humbly pray and do thou prince of the heavenly host by the power of god cast into hell satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world seeking the ruin of souls amen <laughs>